Hello and welcome back everybody. Today starts a new series, well I guess an extension of a new series, and that is the Minimator tutorial series. Uh, this is an extension because it is the new beta version 0 0.5, released uh, Friday, no Thursday, the October 18th, uh, by developer David Norgan. Um, so let's take, this first episode we're just going to take a couple looks at the new features. Um, so as you notice here, on the right hand side you've only got three tabs instead of uh, what was there before. Let's take a look at these. So library is where you're going to add your, uh, your characters, items, blocks, sceneries, and lights. Everything is now going to be in one list and one area instead of mixing it up between three different tabs of characters, lights, and uh, objects. Now if I click add, click a character, it's still the same concept. You add the character, you can change the name. We'll name him Ski Dude. Um, cool little handy dandy thing up here in the top right. There's a little, you can move him around, look at it, do some cool stuff there. Kind of cool. Um, model. Now I'm pretty sure. I don't recognize like Enderman, Slime, Ghast. I, I don't know if these have been added or not, but either way, you can pretty much now add every model in the game and animate it. So, uh, skin is still the same. If you want to change it, you click on the skin thing here, go to browse, wherever you have your skin saved. For me, I have it saved in my skins folder in the old Minimator. I uh, click open, and there you go. Here's Ski Dude. He's here to join us. Well, I guess it'd be me, so. Um, now, here is where you would also add items. Now, I've seen on his forums that a couple people have been asking, well, the parent option isn't down here below anymore. What do I do? And I will show you that real quick. So, if I add the item, and I go diamond sword, and I click OK. Um, items. OK. Uh, now, if we close this, go to instances, you're going to see all of the objects, characters, scenery, things you've just added here. Now if you click on Diamond Sword in here, here is where the Lock to Parent option is. You click Lock to Parent, Parent, Ski Dude, Body Part, let's go with the right arm. And as always, it puts it up to his head. Now something cool here, um, as far as changing things around, let's go ahead, and if you notice here, it's got a little 90 degree line down here and even up here. This is showing that it's parented to Ski Dude, so you can kind of keep track of all your different um, items. Now, if I add our good old timelines down here, our keyframes, and I select the diamond sword and I go to position, you're going to see a blue line, a red line, and a yellow line show up. And if I go even further and click rotation, now I've got some circles. So, this is going to make moving things around a lot quicker and a lot easier. Now what I can do here is I can click, if you mouse over any of these lines it turns white and that shows you that's the line you're, that's the axis you're going to be editing. So if I go ahead and grab this blue line and just move around, there you go, it swivels. Instead of having to do the dials and things like that, I can just click and swivel. Same thing here want to go down, I hold on to the blue one here and just drag down. Want to come forward, grab the red one, bring it forward. Now, uh, something to point out, since I have rotated it from its original um, orientation, you would think, alright, I want to tilt the sword forward, let's go ahead and move the yellow one. That's not the case because this orientation does not swivel with how you've moved it. So you just got to kind of remember or maybe just grab one and move it um, as far as which one is actually going to tilt your sword forward and I believe on this it's going to be the red. Um, so if you just imagine the sword was still facing sideways it would have been the red one that brings it down. So we bring it down like that. Let's move it back in and let's bring it down. So. Uh, it's still parented, so now if I click on Ski Dude's keyframe and I select his right arm, you can still see the position um, and rotation axes are shown up there. If I go ahead and, um, oop, no, let's do the rotations. Uh, 
rotate his arm, you see it's now parented just like before. And it's almost a little easier and quicker to animate. Now I'm not going to go into in-depth on all these options, new options and things like that. This is just a quick overview video of some new features that I have been able to find. So let's head back to instances. Now instances are, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Um, I'll, we'll do the old jump to camera trick and then we will go like this create walking animation to next frame. Let's go ahead and watch that. He's walking. Yay! Okay, now let's say um, I want to have an army walking here and I don't really want to mess around with all this crap of um, adding more characters and doing all that stuff. What I can do is actually go to the instances, um, have ski dude selected, and just go duplicate. And I can do this a thousand times. And if you see down here, it says skidu number two, and the keyframes are all there. So let's just go ahead and move skidu's keyframe number two over to here. Now let's see what that did. Now you see, I didn't move the end keyframe, so he's move, still moving to the end position here. So we're going to go ahead and actually move him over here and see what that does. And there you go, folks. A quick animation of identical characters um, and walking and things like that. Now you notice the sword was not duplicated with him. It only duplicates the parent. Um, so if I want to give him a sword as well, I'm just going to have to either duplicate the sword in an instance or add a new one. And the easiest, I would guess, would just be duplicate a sword, locked a parent, skidoo two, and his right arm. And what do you know? It already knows where to go. We can even go ahead and jump to the left arm, and voila. So let's jump back to here. Now we've got a mirror image of them walking. He's got a sword in his right hand, he's got a sword in his left hand. Um, and you're saying, well, it's not a mirror image because his right arm is up and whatever. But it is an exact mirror image, if you want to call it copy, because they are ending in the same position. So that is a quick overrun of instances. I will go in depth on those in the future. Now, background just real quick. Um, He's added this, which is amazing. You can drag the sun or even click on the moon and you can make it night. You can make it morning, you can make it dusk, uh, midnight, noon, things like that. It's really, really, really nice. Now that if you want to make night shots, you can see the lights are dimmed. It's got the light of the night. Now if you unclick use lighting, it's going to uh, go to just kind of everything is lit up, no shadows. Um, if you go to use custom lighting, you can now see the old light panel here um, where you can uh, mess with these. However, like you've seen probably in my torch video, um, you can add lights as from the library. And let's see, what am I, you can lock and parent those two items. So um, I will go over more of that in the future. I was just quick showcase of the new things um, and as always show ground now this is where you're going to change your terrain so let's actually browse let's find my uh, where is it text pack terrain open update well that did not update oh because I <laughs> we're going to have to go to the side here fast. Well, anyway, if I add a schematic, since that's not technically real ground, it would update the terrain, and I haven't updated the top of my terrain. Anyway, so that is just a quick overrun of the three new tabs and the three new things. Um, there's a lot of cool things coming up. I'm actually going to be doing an interview with David Norgan next week, and I will have that up here as well. We'll just go over the new features, hopefully what's coming, and some little tips and tricks that he can teach me because I'm still very new to this as well. So 
Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have specific problems or things you cannot figure out, go ahead and leave that in the comments below, and I will try to cater a video to your needs. So this is Ski Dude. Thanks for watching, and uh, download this Minimator and start animating your own Minecraft videos. The link for the download will be below.